So as the story begins, a man comes out of the water, he looks around carefully by pulling his head and says, No this is not my world, my world is some other world. I know where it is, I have a hope inside me that I will reach my world. After saying this this man named Kevin disappears from here. After which the scene shifts. We see Kevin in his normal world. He is sitting in a bar and is very worried because all the money he has invested in the stock market is lost at this time. A girl named Muley comes to him and argues. She wanted to talk to Cabin. She asks him what happened. He looks sad. Cabin replies, Yes, I am very upset, so please go from here. She tells me that I will not sit next to you because I like sad people a lot, and anyway I have not come here for you. I have asked my friend to sit next to you to make your mood better. Cabin allows her to sit next to him, even though he does not want to. Now he also started liking Muni's company. While talking they become good friends and after a while they also get married. Time tolerates these two were very happy with each other, they did not know that this machine of theirs was very bad. This won't work because one day on his way home from the office, Kevin crashes into the night, he gets into a terrible accident. When he regains consciousness, he is on the road, completely alive and safe. He looks from the same side and there is no one except a bad man. No one, no traffic. He asks the old man, I had an accident, where is my car? I have to call my wife on my phone. In response to all this, he later says, you will not be able to do anything like this. I mean because you were in another world and at the time of an accident I took you out from there and brought you here. The bad hind standing here now gets his praise done by hind and says I am the first factor. My job is to shift people from one world to the world of two. While talking about this he called Cabin to a restorer. Cabin says stop joking with me. I have to go back to my world. Then the person there calls me like you man factor here. Yes, I brought you to this world so that you too become a shifter like me. When will it happen for you? You came to this world after removing your angry and stoic attitude from this world. Kevin replies, I don't believe that it is possible right now. Will you give me proof? This witness is sitting with us. Make her disappear. Manufacturer can say anything. She is tied to his hand. Reach also. If anything else comes up then a girl disappears from here. After knowing the truth, today's cabin was with B. He tells her that no one is making me a shifter. Send me back to my wife. The sharp factor says that until you become a shifter, you will stay here. But the cabin refuses to become a shifter as well. He says that I am not seeing anyone being brought here from this world. He had now started praying to God to get him out of here. Seeing him playing the prayer to God, the sign effective gets angry and wants to leave from there. After which he also leaves to see this world. The people here were angry. There was strange chaos. And no one talked to anyone and there were fights. Families were almost non-existent here where there was not much to eat. People used to curse each other due to hunger, and slowly Kevin spent five years in this place. There was a news in the news of this world today that Davin Factor had offered to become a shifter to the cabin and Davin had refused him. Kevin's only effort till now was to find a shifter here who could bring him to his wife. But till date he has not been successful in his efforts. Had a famous regional friend also gone, for whom Kevin had written the Bible here, which was forbidden to write here. Anyway, Weldom goes to a person who has such technology through which people of the real world can be seen. Kevin wanted to learn about his wife here. After a lot of effort, he is able to see her. He also says, Miss, I want to go back to my wife. Should I tell you about its location? See, in death he says I cannot do this. All I can do is to show you to your wife that brother. He comes out from here. Brother many people were protesting or wing and his friend, Cabin also, he goes and stands among these people. Police had come and stood there after the sun. Suddenly one of the people protesting them ran away and disappeared. As soon as he ran away from here, police started firing on the people. Gaps into the cabin. He wants a breeding facility inside and tells April here in the cabin. The man was able to breed because he was a shifter. I also just want to shift and April replies angrily to this. I will just give up this effort. Neither will you be able to get enrolled in any shifter, nor will you be able to go out of here. Kevin now goes to a shopping mall to do some shopping for himself. There, he sees a seven-year-old boy who suddenly disappears right before Kevin's eyes. In the next moment, the boy's brother appears. Seeing this child, Kevin is reminded of his own son who also disappeared in a similar shopping mall. These events then become KKK Kevin became even more sad. 
In May Mall, Kevin also meets a man named Nazi. That man calls the cabin by its real name and tells him I know you are hungry. If you want, you can come to my house and eat food. Nadir was a man here who had a family, his wife, two daughters, and he goes to his house with him. Nadir knew that Kevin still remembers the Bible and many other things of the world which these people have forgotten. He wanted Kevin to teach his daughters everything he knew. In return, he would let him stay in his house and also give him a meal. Before the cabin could get excited, alarms started ringing. Soon people from the news came, and they came to know that the manufacturer who had not returned to this world for many years was going to return tomorrow. After knowing this, the cabin lost all hope of going back to their world. The cabin quickly came to the man who had the technology to know the location of people in the real world. He assumes the location of the cabin, but this man tells the cabin that you will not be able to know the location until you have a special kind of press LTE to shift the winds. Now the shifter bracelets were with the safe manufacturer, and if the cabin wanted to get what it wanted, it had to agree to the manufacturer for which it was making the capsule. Cell takes the gun, knowing it's illegal in this world. It's morning. The manufacturer had entered the world of manufacturers. What was the fuss with the police? People saw the manufacturer as a god, but not Kevin. Kevin reached the manufacturer's restaurant to shoot him, dodging the police. Before he could shoot, the manufacturer vanished as soon as he saw the gun. Now the police also came to know that the man had come to attack the cabin manufacturing. So they fire bullets on the cabin from the restaurant study. The cabin hides on one side. Now he understood that perhaps he will never be able to meet his wife, and thinking this he started crying loudly. Then he comes in front of the manufacturers and says that how many years ago I had offered you to become a shifter. You didn't listen to me, and now you're regretting it. If you had, you wouldn't be crying here. Either your mother would be home, or you would be the messiah of these people. Kevin says, I don't want to be anyone's messiah. I just have my brother-in-law and my wife, Radish. Then he cuts and asks the bit factor, Where did you get the body from? Gabriel gave it to you, right? Saying this, he turns the capsule here through his sister machine. After sleeping on the capsule, the satisfactory cable says, What did you think? He does not know anything that happens here, but when we write pages of the Bible, he knows about it as well. He says that he had come here after asking permission. As soon as he leaves, the police brothers who were standing there also start firing bullets at them. A bullet hits April's hand which hits her while Kevin saves his life by hiding behind Safi. During this rescue, Kevin notices April's hand. She had a shifted bracelet in her hand. The truth was that her friend kept it hidden from her that the one shifted was the one. But anyway, Kevin could find out Modi's location through this device and go there to AS soon as he wears this device in his hand. Kevin adds some quotes and from here suddenly he gets ported and reaches some other world. That was not Kevin's world. He had gone there. He again says something under court and from here he becomes a poet. A case comes in some other world. In this world he falls in water, and this is the same scene which we have seen in the start of the movie also. This is also not his world. He knows it, but he will reach his world while searching for his wife. He hopes that he will say something conder again, and gets into another world that was no less than a mental asylum, and there was a Tapirial here. Here he finds many variants of Gamiriel, who were completely after him. He goes in that direction while avoiding them. Then here he sees a crying Nerel. He had probably seen this girl somewhere. The girl tells him while crying that because of you, my life has become crazy here. You are the one who taught the manufacturer to make me disappear. He reported me and sent me here until date I am here. This girl is saying this even feels a little bad. He apologizes to the dinner for his cake. And while he was still talking about all this, one of the April variants comes here which starts shooting him. Before he reveals his hand once more in the cabin, he enters some core and is reported dead in a different world. In this world, Kevin was seeing another variant of himself. Let's say his lookalike. At that time, he asks Kevin, Why did you come here on Colo? Kevin was not able to understand anything. He was apologizing to him, and during this he sees that device in Kevin's hand that very night. He says to camera, Give it to me. From where did you get this device? In return I will give you whatever you want from me, but Camera refuses to give this device because he had to come to his wife in his world at any cost. Before the man in front calls police on Kevin, Kevin again enters some code on R. D5, and reaches the same world where the manufacturer was. This time he had fallen on Nadir's house. 
He sees that Nadir has been completely injured by the police because the police thought that the grandson has paid the rent. I also go to the River Tawa giving a hope to his wife that one day she will just get out of here. Now without any time, Kevin goes to that man whose monitor is with Kevin. Using this device, he could find his wife's location eye in his mind. That man was searching for the location of Merlidhar to help Kevin. Meanwhile, the police had also reached their tracking Kevin. They were just about to arrest Kevin when Kevin's friend tells him the code of Holy's location. Entering this code, Kevin had already reached Muni in his real world before the police could arrest him. Muni, who was in the atmosphere at this time, was also surprised to see Kevin here after so many years. Along with being surprised, she also says to Cabin that if you remember then leave me alone, then Cabin says no. I never left you. He shows his wedding ring which he is wearing on his hand and says that all the years I stayed away from you. I kept remembering you. I kept trying to come to you. Believe me, Holly tells him that go back from where you came because I have now got married again. Kevin is shattered on hearing this. He tells me no, don't do this in this movie. I will go without you. Seeing his condition she says, okay, if you want to stay with me, then I have a set. Our child who was lost, please find me and bring me back. I will leave everything. We will start living our life again. She had left from here and Kevin was broken. She just looks at him. Demax has come out and takes him to his world by calling him from here. Defector was extremely angry. He says to Kevin, What did you think? You would leave this world so easily, and I would not do anything to you? You have done so much harm to me. Now you will pay for that. Kevin was silent, as if whatever happens to him now does not matter to him. In fact, says Defector, you have two options. One is that I send you back to your old life to your wife and second is that I send the girl whom I sent to the mental asylum because of you back to her life. Manufacture was probably testing him and at that time the cabin in this world. In this world someone highly selfish had become. The main factor knew that the cabin will take the decision of marriage there in his life but surprisingly he tells the opposite decision and tells the decision to send the girl back to her old life. After Kevin agreed, the manufacturing company sent the girl back to her family. They saw that she was very happy after going home. But the manufacturer had gone mad because Kevin was doing things contrary to the highlight box's thinking, and at this moment he shoots Kevin in anger. Kevin's eyes opened to a new world. He was standing near a bar. He goes inside and sees his wife sitting all alone. Kevin thought this was his chance, so he goes to Maury and asks, You look sad. What happened? Turning towards Kevin, Maury says, I've done an 18-hour shift. Now I have to go home. You must be tired. Now these people were talking that suddenly Holy gets a call from her daughter, and this failure comes to know that Modi is married in this world. As soon as he cuts the phone, he asks Modi, Are you married, Hogori? Yes, but you don't live with your husband. He was speechless when he heard this. He befriends Yamundi in the course of conversation, and then invites her for tea as well. After a while, they eventually get married. Kevin and I began living a joyful life once more. The story ultimately recounts a particular day. I am aware that this is not my original world. However, I will embrace this world because I have rediscovered my wife here. The story concludes here, conveying this.